Hi, my name's Kirsten. I work for Chris, and here we're at the Hudson, and we're going to talk about purple loosestrife. Purple loosestrife was introduced into the northeastern U.S. in the 1800s for ornamental purposes, and it was widely used for its decorative flower. It's sold in many nurseries despite its negative impacts. It blooms throughout most of the summer and can easily be identified by its purple flowers that grow in clusters along the upper portion of the stem. Other identifying features are its square stem, whorled, lance-shaped leaves, and down-like pubescent covering. It can also grow between 4 and 10 feet in height. Purple loosestrife is a threat to our natural ecosystems, particularly wetlands such as marshes, stream banks, and ditches, where it easily grows, crowding out native species. It spreads rapidly because 30 stems can grow from a single rootstock, and between 2 and 3 million seeds are produced per year. You can control any young new infestations of purple loosestrife by pulling up the plants. There are also three biocontrols that have been approved by the USDA, a weevil and two species of beetles. One of the beetles, Gallerucilla, feeds on the leaves and has been the best example of a successful biocontrol in our area. This gives us hope that native species will be able to recover.